Good morning. This is Katie Queen with the Divine Reader. Today is Tuesday. The first card I pull is the Nine of Cups. This is about following your heart and your dreams. Jewelweed. This is about your emotions, sensitivity, intensity. Gloves. It may be necessary to handle a situation with gentleness, tact, or not at all. There is no need to get your hands dirty on this one. Queen of Cups. Counseling and therapy. A compassionate person. Burnout. This is about recovery. Rest and follow. Mass. Take a deep breath and then another. Move away from the fumes and the debris for a while. Let the dust settle. In the meantime, remove the mass and just breathe. Nine of Pentacles. Being self sufficient, financial independence. Regeneration. This is by hope, renewal, and growth. The staple gun. Take some time to examine what triggers you. I keep getting this card. <laughs> it is a perfect time to release attachments to old patterns, unhealthy habits, and outdated ways of thinking. Doing so will help you in the present and prepare you for the future. The Magician. This is by self-confidence, empowered creativity. Poison Ivy. This is about awareness, having caution, consequences. Screwdriver. There's a whole world of possibilities opening up to you. Take a quarter turn and change your perspective. If you are having trouble seeing all the choices, as with the screwdrivers, if you choose the right size and type, you cannot go wrong. Nectar of the Lotus. Your devotion of helping others has the effect of squeezing the heart chakra of the Divine Mother. From her heart grips nectar, sweet, sustaining life, a firm energy that fills you and allows you to nourish many souls. When you are full, well, and vital, you are able to nourish others. You are guided to receive, to receive your fill now for your own benefit and for the benefit of all. Portal of Light. It is only the physical reality that is bound by time and space. You are conscious being on levels beyond the physical world. You are guided to work with your healing powers beyond the confines of time and space. You will not become ungrounded through such spiritual work. You are not leaving your earthly connection behind. You are merely adding to it. And that's your win for today. I am love. We are love. Thank you for watching.